la biblioteca itinerante is a project that consists of the creation of a books network to facilitate the education in the indigenous communities. This project started about two years ago when an indigenous came to Bogota to know the city. In his visit, he met a woman named Esperanza Casas, who took him to the library Luis Angel Arango, and he found it very interesting. That day, the man decided that their community needed a library if they wanted to stand out in life. So, Esperanza and the indigenous had the idea of creating a voluntary books network created by friends and family. The idea consisted in getting books from donations and rotate, rotate them into different communities. The project is a slow process but a very impacting one that has already helped a lot of communities like Pichiman, Papayo, Taparlito, Buenaventura, Yanacona and Paces. We could talk to some of the most important people related to the project and the ones who care most about it. Henry and Esperanza are one of those who could tell us that, in general terms, their experience was good because they have improved to the efficiency of the project and that leads to better results towards the books that move to one place to another. However, they complain about transportation costs, which is their biggest problem right now. The main needs of the key stakeholders is that their contribution gives them retribution not only economically but also in results. Stakeholders want the project to succeed regarding seeing children and young entrepreneurs to have the possibility to read and learn from books. Also one of their biggest needs is to get the necessary amount of books and encyclopedias so that they satisfy the demand that they have right now. The poverty, the transportation and the lack of education are some of the most important tendencies or societal challenges that influence this project. This project has gone well until now since many children and young entrepreneurs that did not have the financial resources to buy or read specific books, nowadays they have the possibility to acquire knowledge and contribute to the education of Colombia. However, there has been difficult times, like when they don't really receive enough amount of books or the ones that are highly demanded. We expect that these native communities that are the most directly affected by the project start caring about it and therefore that the children and the young entrepreneurs get the opportunity of looking forward to an education.